in module 19 we'll continue the turn-based game for which we build the board in module 18. So we'll use the matrices to store the game board as described in module 18, but we'll also implement a user and computer moves turn by turn. So first we'll use the users and the computer. This is different from a real-time type of game in which uh, uh, it depends how fast you click on something. We'll do that just to clarify the method of controlling the turns. Sure, you can imagine if you make the turns very fast and not waiting for the user, this may become easily a real-time game with the right uh, user interface and graphics. Here are more interested in the uh, algorithm, in the method to control such a game. So the user will move by entering uh, uh, character like A, S, D, W for left, down, right, up, and uh, the master will move uh, randomly on the table. And the idea is for the user to find a way in which we'll be able to go to the endpoint avoiding all the masters. Um, now, uh, we already introduced a matrix to store the state of the game and we represent each element with a given uh, character for the cell uh, and sure we'll need to introduce new values to represent uh, the uh, content or state of the cell based on the movement of the player and of the masters. Uh, we will do this following three guided activities. In the first one we'll start moving the player and uh, just one random master, master on the, in the room. And then we'll extend to have uh, several uh, masters moving randomly. And then we'll improve uh, determining the masters to move toward the user. Uh, 